We are in love. We are all forever in love. We spend hours drying them. We call ourselves by our names in secret. Rainbow Rider, Lucky Lady, Thunder. We cram our pockets and lunch kits with them. Piles and piles of ponies. Sophie, she's the new girl in grade two. Sophie's horse name is Trotter and Toto and Lala and Gypsy because we're down so at the Saskatoon Farmer's Market talking to like two members us. of Chrysalis she, Theater. She, she, Louise, you were kind of the mastermind her. behind bringing this to she Saskatoon Fringe home. this year. But of course, a very well-known writer wrote uh, The Shape of a Girl. Tell us a bit about the premise of the play. Okay. The the play was written in response to the murder of Rena Burke, mm -hmm. uh, who was a, a young woman, 14-year-old, who was murdered by a group of her peers in Victoria, B.C. Mm -hmm. A huge event that happened in uh, 1997 mm -hmm. uh, and still talked about today. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, jo Joan McLeod heard about this in the news mm -hmm. and she was greatly affected and one of the good things about being affected by something as an artist is it tends to create some beautiful works. It is a wonderful piece surrounding a very topical topic I believe. Uh, how do you think this message and the topic at hand will really relate and you know touch a note with the audience members that uh, see The Shape of a Girl? That's a really good question because this is something that it's not not the murder so much mm -hmm. it's about bu the bullying mm -hmm. everybody's been affected by bullying mm -hmm. bullying as either somebody who gets bullied or seeing bullying or being the bullier yourself mm -hmm. so this touches everybody um, great for young people to see because it might kind of help them make some decisions in their own life but the reality is some of the stories that I'm hearing from from the adults are, are very very touching mm -hmm. so how does the shape of a girl of course, it'll be performed at Fringe. How does it explore the topic of extreme bullying? Um, it, it explores it as Brady hears about the incident um, and she starts connecting the dots and realizes that in her own life, this sort of stuff is happening. In fact, the person that has been her best friend for years has been doing stuff to to another person another person in the class by the end of the play she realizes oh, i can't just stand by and let this happen so she's taken a step away from the bystander situation and and actually doing something about it so katie why were you attracted to the role of brady in the shape of a girl i think it just has a lot of universal topics things that someone who is in grade six and also 60 can relate to um, and also it's just really like even before um, I accepted the role I knew about the play because so many um, young women actors we pull from monologues from this because they're so like well written and strong characters and you don't get to see that a lot in a lot of plays um, so it's sort of a jewel in itself to be like I get to perform these amazing words for 50 minutes and it's such a strong character. So. Is it hard to be up there by yourself performing the show? Yes and no. Sometimes it's great because if I mess up, I can just sort of keep on going and nobody knows. Um, but also, it's all this energy, so usually by the end of the shows, I'm pretty exhausted. But it's worth it in the end, so. Fair enough. Well, it sounds like a great show, a very relevant topic. Now, I should tell community members why we're here at the Saskatoon Farmers Market. Throughout the week uh, ahead of Fringe here, Louise, you've been doing impromptu uh, rehearsals. Uh, why? Why that method? Why, why do this around the city? It's a great way to get people to see what we're doing. Okay. Uh, and it, it's a great way to get some instant feedback too. Yeah. Because it's one thing for somebody to just walk by and say, oh, I wonder what they're doing. But if they walk by and say, hey, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Or they will actually be commenting and, and giving us some feedback. Mm -hmm. It's great. All right, perfect. Well, for more information, head to Potash Corp Fringe Festival online for all of those dates and times. Thank you so much, Louise. And of course, Katie, we wish you all the best at this year's Fringe. Thank you, Janella.